Customers have a philosophy. If you get the bill right, they'll pay it. Until you get the bill right, they're not going to pay it. So if you look at your aging report, your 30, 60, 90 day report, there's a high probability that over 50% of the people on that deadbeat account are not deadbeats. You just didn't get the bill right. You get the bill right, they'll pay it. This is a problem. You really shouldn't be getting involved at this level. You shouldn't be getting involved at this level. It's unusual for someone to say, you need to call the customer and clear this up. If that's happening, that's something you might want to take a second look at. That's why we pay people in accounting. That's why we have accounts receivable. You do not want to ruin the relationship that you have created with your customer and jam them up for the bill by the same token. If they are a deadbeat account, then you got to go get the money. If it was a mistake you made in the contract, you didn't spell out exactly how the billing was going to occur, and there's, now you've got to take some responsibility for that. One of the problems salespeople have is they're afraid to talk about the billing at the time of the contract because they're afraid that kind of discussion moves away from the friendly relationship you're trying to build. My experience is just the opposite. How do you want to handle the billing? Is it room and tax to master? Is it incidentals on own? You're going to give me a credit card? You're going to give me a purchase order? How, we, how What's the best way to have it? Better to discuss it then when we're still good friends <laughs> than later when there's a problem with the billing. My experience is a huge percentage of the problem with billing is not the customer being a deadbeat. It's somehow the hotel has not put the bill together properly.